Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. I'm your astrologer. I will talking. I'll be talking about the world forecast for the month of April. How is it going to be this month? This month, the month of April, is not an easy month. Uh, but the um, the planetary um, configuration is uh, in this month. It's around two uh, two points, two important points. Uh, the new moon which is on the 12th of April and also around the full moon. It's a super moon on the 27th of April. Basically, everything revolves, everything that goes on in, in this world is going to be around these two dates. Let's start with the, uh, the first part. Uh, there are two parts I will be talking about and it's going to be a short video. Uh, so the, uh, the first part uh, is basically, basically, uh, from the 7th of April till the 13th of April. It will be followed by the 16th, 17th, 18th of April. This is the first part. Um, from the 6th till the uh, 10th, the influences, everything that goes around has to do with Earth, planet Earth, which is, um, we may see um, lots of hurricanes and flooding. Uh, there's a pollution problem that may appear and there's a problem with transportation which can, which can be, uh, maybe uh, has to do with ships, maybe it has to do with planes, something like that. And on the other part, there can be anything that can be related to um, earthquakes, big earthquakes, and it can be related also to rates, you know, airstrikes, and maybe some assassinations. So pollution is an important part uh, in this part, important issue in this part between the 7th and the 10th. Now, this part will catch up with the influences of the new moon on the 12th, okay? So it will catch up with the influences of the new moon and planet Earth may actually be in a, a bit uh, restless and, the, um, and we may actually see and witness big earthquakes and big uh, earth um, reactions like floodings and like uh, volcanoes and like some fires going around. This can take place until the 13th. So um, it may be, they may be separated between the 6th and the 10th and then between the 10th and the 13th. It's all related to um, all this stuff. So we have to be a little bit uh, uh, wary of that. Uh, then there's another part, which is between the 16th and the 18th of April. And this is actually uh, a violent part. This is a violent period of time. Sometime it's, uh, uh, it can be between the 15th actually and the 19th. Um, because according to my experience, sometimes it's two days. Uh, it can stretch four days whenever I pinpoint something it can be two days before two days after but uh, let's say that it's between the 15th and the 19th um, this is a violent period this is a violent aggressive reactions from planet earth maybe because uh, there is some uh, uh, a build up maybe a repression and so the earth like uh, wants to uh, um, uh, respire so there can be some uh, maybe some volcanoes around maybe one volcano and it is not specific at a, on a certain spot on earth it can be anywhere um, hurricanes uh, there can be explosions there can be some military action and there can be violence somewhere related to uh, military things um, and there can be a problem a big problem with transportation transportation can be anything can be trains can be ships can be planes anything so this is a violent uh, time now we move to the second period the second period is according to my um, experience um, it's worse than the first part and this starts on the 22nd of april uh 22nd 23rd 24th 25th connects with the super moon on the 27th and it stretches to the to, to the 30th of uh, april this is a very very violent this is a very aggressive uh, period of time, uh, of course, according to the planetary uh, configurations, and it has to do with almost everything, everything, everybody, 
everything is um, is they lose everybody loses their uh, their focus and everything goes wild there may be a mayhem everywhere starting uh, on the 22nd 23rd uh, it's bad for the stock market it's uh, there may be some um, it's a sad period of time when I say sad it means that um, there can be a world condemnation for everything there can be military actions um, uh, connected to the 20th, 24th, um, there can be transportation problems, big problems, there can be airstrikes, there can be um, um, problems with the transportation, just like what happened uh, on the, uh, at the end of March with the Suez problem, the, the, the ship that sank and caused problems for transportation. There can be airstrikes, uh, there can be assassinations connected with the 25th. Uh, there can be um, big uh, uh, earthquakes and more uh, maybe volcanic uh, volcanic activity. So all this period, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, it's violent. Violent um, by man, humanly violent and also by from nature. It can be anything it is quite wild and there can be mayhem and there can be some shootings around so have to be careful uh, did i say assassinations yes okay so this period of time is connected with the super moon which is on the 27th so we can expect from the 26th 27th 28th till the 30th of um of april more aggressive actions the, because there's a super moon, you can expect anything with the super moon. Super moon acts wild. Everything is wild on Earth. It can be um, a man aggression, or it can be anything. It can be um, uh, the weather, something like that. There can be big fires. Uh, there can be uh, big earthquakes. There can be volcanoes. There can be airstrikes. There can be assassinations, uh, and there can be um, um, basically, um, there's uh, a point uh, that shows up uh, around the full moon, uh, the super moon on the 27th. It's related to a, a war action, a war action, and to a big volcanic or earthquake activity. This is what happens. This is what is um, what shows up between the 26th and the 30th of April. It is a very aggressive and very hyperactive period of time planet earth is not happy and it can respire in that way and um, breathe out in that way and um, planet pluto which is an uh, which is an retrograde may cause some mayhem uh, whether it's related to wars explodes explosions or whether it's related to a big airstrikes um, and to add to it that the supermoon is an, in an opposition to planet Uranus. Uranus is everything which is wild. So you can expect also the internet to go wild and maybe to go down. There can be airstrikes, there can be strikes, there can be anything related to uh, fires also, earthquakes and... Uh, okay, earthquakes and, uh, and volcanic activity flooding it can be anything so the second part actually is worse than the first part but definitely of course we uh, we pray that nothing of this happens just um, just some forecasts according to the planetary configurations i hope that nothing takes place nothing happens if anything happens uh, we hope that it's uh, on a small scale not on a big scale so stay safe take care and see you bye bye